Alright, alright guys, welcome to another video. I'm still in Penang, Malaysia, but this time I'm on the mainland. I just took the ferry from Georgetown to Butterworth and I'm here in Butterworth station and I will take the business class train to KL Central, to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, it was not by choice because um, I was a bit late with my booking and there was only one seat available on this train today and it was a business class seat so I decided okay I'll just book it. It was $30 which was like 150 ringgit. Uh, so yeah, it was not overpriced and anything and I researched a bit there's food included and it's like a very comfy seat and everything so it's worth it I think so that's the plan but I still have three hours before the train takes off so um, I will make my way to the other station because there are actually two stations here I'll go to Penang Central which is like a five minute walk and I'll have some uh, lunch there because it's lunch time and I have three hours to time to kill you know so I'll just go first to Penang Central have some food let's go so I took the ferry from uh, Georgetown to Butterworth, which was free actually, free of charge. And also it took about 20 minutes and um, yeah, it was very smooth, the process, everything went really well. Uh, also some nice views, like there's an old ferry that you can see when you embark on the new ferry, which is kind of cool that they leave it there, like as a relic, as a kind of, uh, yeah, like a masterpiece, I would say. It's cool to see. Nope, that's not what I need. But what I really need is right in front of me, coffee and lunch so I'll grab something here at Starbucks uh, and kill some time as well let's see where's the counter here here I think let's see what they have actually oh that looks good that looks good chico cheese mm. that looks good yeah 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 oh butter chicken pie wow look at that view guys that's actually the island Penang Georgetown that's where the ferry arrives these are the old ferries and I'm standing here on the balcony of um, Penang Central Mall and uh, I'm not here for the views only I'm actually here for the Starbucks uh, because um, I'm quite hungry and thirsty in need of a coffee so what do we have here what 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 do we have here a nice nice hot cappuccino with sugar uh, chico cheese which is like a sausage and cheese in a bread and then here this is a palak paneer pie now palak paneer pie that's something I never ever tried before I'll just cut it open to see how it looks because palak is um, spinach and paneer is cheese so I'm very curious how this looks this is wow look at this look at this what oh there's even some corn in it that will oh it smells like masala also that will be delicious that will be delicious so I'm going to eat all this and then uh, in a few hours I need to catch my train so I'll just kill some time here Enjoy my time, enjoy this food, enjoy the cappuccino, and then I'll be on my way. Guys, I thought I will uh, review this food because it looks so delicious and it smells really good. It's like um, India in a bread, basically. So uh, let me just cut that up a little bit. Get a piece of get a piece of that paneer bread and oh shit, I'm, I'm screwing it up already. Mm. Oh wow. Why did I never dis discover this before? Wow. Let me show you. Look at this. The layer dough, spinach, corn, and the paneer. I think the paneer is mixed in because I didn't see the paneer yet, but. Mm. <laughs> this tastes good actually. Very good. Palak paneer. One of my favorites in India. It's really good. Why does not every Starbucks have this? Yeah, every Starbucks should have this. It's a must. So if somebody from Starbucks is watching this, make sure you have that everywhere in the world. So the paneer is a bit limited in this uh, Palak paneer pie, but I'll give it a try. Oh, it's nice and soft. Wow, it's been a while that I had paneer. Mm. This pie, even though it looks a bit messy now, but it's super delicious. Okay. Okay, we're in. We're in. Finally, after a few hours at Starbucks, uh, I'm ready to board my train. Oh, not ready yet. It's still closed. Uh, I guess this is where I have to go, but it's still close. 
and the other side is also closed so I guess uh, I have to wait a little bit hi uh, the train to KL is, is this is this way uh, but it's not open yet yeah, not uh, okay yet. okay thank you okay not open yet so more waiting more waiting I'll enjoy a bit of the views in the meanwhile waiting for the train um, I'm testing this 100 plus lemon lime I never tried this before actually I tried 100 plus like many times it's always my daily drink but never the one with lemon mm, it's a bit more bitter and sour but I like it I like it Central. That's what I need. But uh, that's uh, wagon F, and I'm an A, so that's all the way in the front. So I have a bit of a walk to do. Let me rush it a bit because um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how long this train will wait here because I'm all the way in the front. First time business class. Kind of excited for that. Let's see uh, what is included, how it looks. I have no idea, honestly. But uh, let's see four hours ride I'm kind of tired so maybe I can get a nap in that would be nice actually okay this is the first entry of a but I'll go all the way in the front because I want to have like the front view or is this the back view I don't even know I think it's the front view yeah this must be the front view let's get a uh, some quick thumbnail action oh it looks uh, very futuristic this train look at this <laughs> Okay, that's enough for the thumbnail. Let's get in my seat now. 7A, 7A. Let's see. I have some luggage storage here, which is pretty full already. But uh, I might come back here for my luggage. I'll see if I can fit my luggage up here. Yeah, my bag is pretty, pretty big actually. Especially like I have a bag that I can expand. So it's pretty big. This is 3C. I am in a single seat. 7A. Should be somewhere there. Yay, some other time. Okay, yep, this is it. Oh, and I have full window view, that's good. Let me see if my back fits. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but it kind of fits. And uh, my other little bag here. This is nice, this is nice. We will need to do a, a proper review of this seat. We have some wall plugs. Well, I don't I don't have a... Well, actually, I have a universal one. Also two USB plugs. You can turn it on and off. It's actually metal. That's good. So I can charge my stuff. Then, I know there's like something hidden in the seats, in the armrest, actually. Let's see what we have here. That's... Uh, Table. Oh no, it's a screen. What is this? How does this work? Oh, it's putting. Oh yeah, you need to turn it on here. There's a headphone connection. What do we have here? The minions. The quality is not that great, I would say, but let's see what we have. Ooh, this is like on a plane almost. Food and beverages. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Milo, well, I don't need Milo. But I think there are some uh, some drinks included and some food as well. Nasi lemak, ayam rendang. Hmm. Not sure if that would be as good as the nasi lemak I had in KL, but still. Instant noodles, energy drink. Well, a lot of stuff is sold out, but a lot of stuff is also here. Okay, not now, not now. I think there's food included. Internet, Oy, what's this? Internet, do not copy and use undisclosed and unauthorized files. Okay, okay, accept. Oh, YouTube is open. Um, well, I don't want to see this on YouTube, the minions. Wait, let me see what I can find. Something more interesting. That's what I always do on the smart TVs as well. Put my channel there, makes more sense. Tim what do we find here? 
Palawan coconut juice. Oh yes, a lot of shorts here. Priya, Priya, that's me. Okay. Does it actually work? Let's see. Does it work? Oh yeah. It works, but the quality is a bit low. The quality is a bit low. I guess it's because um, the internet is not so great here. Um, I'll just get rid of the screen for now, and then. Uh, See what else we can find here. Okay, let's see what we have here. Another hidden thing. Mm. It's a table with a little thing here for the drinks. It's pretty steady. Not sure if it's handy for my laptop though. It's a bit too close. Like I prefer my laptop. Like a bit further away. And this one is pretty close, but I guess it will do. It will work. Mm. It's like a plane, basically. I've never been in business class in a plane, but very similar. Very similar. Okay. Also, leg space is nice. Oh, and the footrests are a bit more fancy than the ones in the in the normal class. Mm, yeah, I like this. I like this. So. Here. Not sure what this is for. I can hang my stuff here. Oh, I can hang my man purse here. I told you that. Okay, guys. So, uh, yeah. Let me adjust this. Oh, this makes more sense. Yeah, uh, business class. Let's see how it works. I hope the train is going that direction, so I'm facing towards the direction, which is always better on the train. <sighs> yeah. Oh, and full windows, full window to enjoy the landscapes. Perfect. Yeah, as I mentioned, this was the only seat that was available on this train. I, I had to book two days in advance. I actually wanted to leave Penang yesterday already. There was no space available whatsoever, so they had to book the next day, which is today. And there was only one seat available, and it's this one here, 7A business class. Sir, hello. Yes. Ticket. Yes. Uh, ticket. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. This is how it looks when both the screen and the table is out. Uh, 
smells absolutely delicious. It's like a fruity cake, but with not too much fruit in it. Oh, be careful, man. <laughs> it was, uh, my coffee was almost on my lap. Oh, good. Or is it a woman? I don't know, but I need to protect my coffee with, by all means. Okay, back to the cake. It's um, very moist actually, not too dry. You would expect maybe a dry cake or something in a train, but it's really good. toilet I was just taking a nap I think we're stopping at a station that's not a good idea because my stuff is there and stopping at a station is dangerous but uh, this is a toilet here hand washer toilet seat and everything I think these toilets are fancier than the toilets in, uh, in Belgium but I think this is a shared toilet with a uh, regular class it's not, not only business class but uh, speaking about business I will do my business it's a number one don't worry and then uh, I'll be back in my seat and take another nap outside in the meanwhile so I'll just head to my Airbnb check in all right all right guys we made it to KL Central four hours and a half later pretty much and we're here it's uh, dark already just need to figure out where the exit is 
you know, the plan now is I'll catch a grab to my hotel while well, it's like an apartment and then um, I'll give you guys a room tour and a whole Airbnb tour tomorrow morning because it's too dark now. That's the whole queue here. All right, guys, I just made it to my apartment. I was planning to do the room tour tomorrow morning, but I saw the view outside and it's pretty amazing. So uh, I'll give you a room tour, a quick room tour, and then I'll show you the view outside and you will know what I mean with amazing. So let's get started. Um, we start with the bathroom here, that's me. Um, the bathroom is pretty modern, as you can see. Uh, let's take a look at the shower. There's even a rain shower, which I really love. That's like, if the pressure is good, that's the best, uh, the best thing, you know, like the best shower you can have. Uh, the only thing I noticed is that it's not the cleanest. They could do something with the cleanliness, like a little bit uh, more cleaner would be better. But overall, it's pretty good, uh, also spacious. And of course, I have to mention there's a door because like in some countries and in Malaysia as well, um, a door or a curtain next to the shower is very unique, you know, and your toilet always gets wet and it's such an annoying thing. <laughs> and uh, the good thing is they have toilet paper because some places don't have toilet paper, you need to ask for it because I'm not really used to this yet. Um, I used it a few times, but I prefer toilet paper, I will be honest. Um, I know it's cleaner to use the bidet and stuff, but I'm just not used to it. I'm a best Belgian you know like we don't we don't even have that in the toilets uh, but let's continue the tour now oh yeah we have a washing machine as a full-time traveler as a full-time traveler that's pretty important especially here in Malaysia it's um, usually self-service in the laundromats um, like in other countries you just hand over your laundry and they will do it for you here it's usually self-service uh, this is also self-service but it comes included I just need to have some uh, some product oh damn it's closed Contact us for more instructions on how to use. Oh, I, I was hoping maybe they have some product. Well, I'll figure it out tomorrow because I will be here for five days actually. Um, so yeah, let's continue the tour. We have the kitchen here. We have a microwave, which most likely I'm not going to use. We have a kettle, which highly likely I will use. And we have some coffee. I hope it's a good one. Regular three in one. Well, yeah, it's, it's like instant coffee, you know, like you cannot expect the best coffee if it's instant coffee, but Still, it's a nice gesture. Um, we have a sink, some cabinets here with some plates and stuff. What else do we have? Glasses, yeah, everything you need really. What's this? Uh, Fumakilla with an elephant on it. You can kill elephants with this. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's for mosquitoes, I think, or like insects and stuff. Okay, then we have a fridge. Let's see if they left something for me nope completely empty well i was hoping for some water maybe but no okay and the freezer oh there are some ice cream so that's a good thing not sure why you put eggs in the freezer like is that a thing here in malaysia eggs in the freezer i don't know uh we have a nice little plant is it real actually um i think it's real oh no it's not real it's not real <laughs> it's not real but it looks pretty real so that's kind of cool, a little bit of uh, jungle vibes here. Then we have uh, a nice seating area, you can sit with two people, I can do some work. Stable table, which is important. Uh, let's see in the cabinet here, what we have. Some extra pillows, some extra blankets, but honestly you don't need that here because it's super hot here. You need AC, not extra blankets. Okay, what else do we have? More pillows, oh, two hair dryers. Two hair dryers, that's nice. Well, I don't need it, but for my beard, of course. That's what I use the hair dryer for, to style my beard a bit. And I can do two even. Uh, oh, I see why they have two maybe. Oh no, I was thinking for different plugs, but it's also this kind of plug. But the iron is with a normal, well, normal. I'm calling this a normal plug because I'm from Europe, but this is a European plug. Okay, um, then we go over to the bed here. I had two towels, I already used one. And, uh, oh yeah, I like the firmness of the mattress. The blanket looks nice. We have the AC remote here. And we have Netflix and YouTube. Ooh, Netflix and YouTube. Wait, 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 wait. And what do we see here? A nice YouTube channel even. Who is this, Tim Tense? Wow. First on the train, now here. I keep seeing myself. <laughs> I might have done that 
on purpose, you know. But uh, now the best thing of the room tour, and you will be amazed, I can tell you. Now let me show you the view. Look at that. How amazing is this? What? Boom, boom, boom. A beautiful view over the modern part of Kuala Lumpur and over the Patronas Towers and even the Salomas Bridge is visible there. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so this is how it looks during the day. It's a beautiful view over KL, the village Kampung Baru, and then the modern skyscrapers and the Petrona Tower. That's really nice. Uh, but I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, you already know, if you're still watching, you're a legend. Legend.